what is going on out there in the world. Do we have any Sony shooters out there? Woo woo, Sony. Yeah, Sony. That's where it's at. Sony. Yeah. Joel Johnson Photography here. And if you didn't know, I am a Sony shooter. Have you ever gone out with your Sony camera and taken some amazing pictures? Just a couple. Just like one or two or three or four or five. And you want to, you get home and you want to put them on your computer, but you don't want to plug in the USB cable into your camera or you don't want to take out the SD card and do all that. You just want the pictures on your computer. There's a way to do that. You can do it wirelessly, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Let's get into it now, not later now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to install Sony Play Memories Home. If you don't know how to do that, you're just going to open up any browser you have, click or type in Sony Play Memories at home. It's just Sony Play Memories, and you're going to go to the website. Should look like this if it hasn't changed. It is 2020 now, this is pretty modern, pretty up to date. Scroll down through all the wonderful Sony Play, Play Memories software, and you're gonna go down to where it says Play Memories Home with the orange basketball looking circle. Click download now, it'll take you to this download page, and guess what? This is 100% free. That's right, I'll say it again, it is free. Click on installing Play Memories Home right here, also, it's version 6. I mean, it's been through some versions. That's great. This must be solid. All right. Once you have it installed, you're just going to exit out of there. Um, and you're going to open it. I already have mine installed, so I'm going to do that right now. Open up Play Memories Home. And yours might look a little different. But what you want to do here from this point is you want to take your Sony camera. Okay. I'm down here. Look at Look down here. And you're going to plug it in via your USB cable. Make sure that it's set to mass storage in the settings, not PC remote. I'm going to turn my camera on now that it's plugged in. And we have a few windows popping up. That's normal. Now, when you plug in your camera, you're going to see this window pop up. It's asking if you want to see more options. Yeah, you do, because you want wireless functionality between your camera and your computer. So we're going to click yes. What you're going to do from here is you're going to go to Wi-Fi import settings. This is where the magic happens, right here. You're going to go down to custom and click next. And you're going to want to click this button here that says set this computer um, as the main computer for this camera. Okay, I already have it set, um, but I'm going to click next anyway. And what you're going to do is, for the firewall settings, just, just check both of those boxes. And you're going to click Next, and it will set your camera up wirelessly to function with this camera. Once it's done, all you need to do is exit out of Play Memories Home. Honestly, you really don't have to use Play Memories Home ever again. You're done. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and just disconnect my camera from the computer. And... It really doesn't matter what Sony camera you're using, um, but every Sony camera, or most of them, should have the wireless functionality. So you're just going to go into your menu, click on wireless, and click on, I'm saying click like you're on a computer, hit press, send to computer. Your Sony camera will look for the computer you just set up in Play Memories Home, and in about 15 seconds, you will see it pop up on your window as a drive. It's just going to pop up in Windows Explorer. Bam, there it is. So now that it's here, all you have to do is double click it to open it up. You might have an error message. This is pretty normal, saying that the device is busy. It's just the Wi-Fi. It's a little, a uh, little slow. So if you see that, just exit out and click the refresh button, and it'll load up all of your folders. And all you have to do from here on out, I like to keep my folders in dates. So I just click on the date that I want and you can just copy and paste the photos just like it's a normal drive. It's a little slower, but for a couple of photos and you don't want to plug it in, I think it makes up plenty makes up for the time that you're spending taking out the SD card or or plugging in your cable if it's not plugged into the computer already. And it's as simple as that. So please enjoy this. Um, I'm sure you'll find some use out of it and you actually might get more photos on your computer than you would have otherwise, right? And then when you're done on your Sony camera and you want to disconnect it, just click or hit press cancel.
and it'll disconnect just like you're disconnecting a USB flash drive. So hopefully you find this useful. Hopefully it is something you will take into your future and treasure. And you'll be like, oh man, I learned that from Joel Johnson Photography. That was the bomb. All right. Well, have a great day. See you next time. Adios.